Eight. Where is everybody? Uh, maybe we got off at the wrong stop? You really do. You are totally on your way to looking the part of my new BFF. That's my new best French friend. I am so moving to France when I win. My mom said my world would totally open up when I got my braces off. She was right! I'm going to France! Yay! Dude! It's rented by the... reality show will be shot here on an abandoned film lot. <gasps> Does this mean we're going to be in the movies? No. It means you're going to be on TV. Ever. Oops, sorry. You'll be spending the next six weeks here competing against each other in challenges and for rewards. <laughs> You'll dish the dirt in our new makeup confessional. Oh my gosh, a whole trailer full of makeup? Oh, sorry, I don't use that brand. Your left is the craft services tent. <laughs> All but one loser will receive. Whoa! It was home to a high-budget monster movie until the star began experiencing. <gasps> oh no! Did she have like a mental breakdown? <laughs> this season's challenges will be based on movie genres. <gasps> Everyone must get from here to the cast. No one thought of doing that last night. Oh. Oh. No one that. Wait, where's Izzy? How did you manage to escape? Monster and I had a romantic date. He doesn't take no for an answer. Mm-hmm. Pretty crazy. I can't even tell you guys. Glad I chose to wait in that trailer. It looks like you all made it. Guess I lose the bet. That was just a warm-up. Good news is your next. Dude, this chow looks like something out of a commercial. Ooh, can I star? Let's get this speed eating contest started. On your marks, get set, come. Foam core, silicone, sawdust, and wax. Whoa. Yes. Yes. Yeah. I choose. Oh, yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, get a good night's sleep because you've got a seriously early wake-up call. Call time is 6 a.m. <laughs> sleep quickly. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard. We're in Toronto. We're nowhere near the ocean. Heather's meanness might leach down while I'm sleeping. <gasps> is meanness contagious? Totally. Besides, I'm bunking with my new BFF. My best friend forever. Uh, fine. We'll draw straws. We could use makeup brushes instead. That's a good idea. Longest ones get the top bucks. Shortest ones the bottom. Shortest of all gets to sleep with Heather. Yes, top bunk. I got bottom. I call Lindsay. I call Beth right back. I got south. Oh. <laughs> Sweet. <laughs> So wrong. So wrong. <laughs> In battle, we put ketchup on everything. My new nail polish is mortar. Isn't it hot? Gray is so. Welcome. Sorry, loser. I'm gonna blend up those no good aliens and have them for breakfast. Dude, Alien Chunks is my favorite alien movie of all time. Find the alien eggs. be really mean, that doesn't mean we should be mean back, right? Buddha says you can lead a sheep to water, but you can't make it nice. That is so deep. Ah! Oh!
How did we get here? <laughs> if we knew, we wouldn't be lost. You are so smart, Justin. And gorgeous. What Cody. a knockout. God. But I think this may be a trap. Oh, oh, Brody. Brody. Ooh, feels so good. <sighs> of you really stink. Thrilling Gilded Crest ceremony yet. <gasps> Under your seats, you'll find your voting device. It means you're safe. <laughs> E-scope! Fine. And Beth are also safe. Yay! <laughs> so is Owen. Lashana! <laughs> Oops, my bad. Two words, Bridget and Jeff. <laughs> I can't believe I'm doing another scene. You're on a film set now, and you're going to learn that show... Okay, let's get this bloodbath started. You're going to choose schoolyard style. Boy, girl, boy, girl. The beautiful Lindsay. Yay! Oh, you know what would be so great? Is if you picked Tyler. Tyler's not in the game anymore. Seriously? Bummer. I choose Justin. Woohoo! Uh, hello. Um... I guess Izzy is on my team, then. She likes to be called Kaleidoscope. <sighs> oh, right. Trent, you're the killer grips. Grip? Action! <laughs> and we're on the same team. <sighs> How the heck are we going to get those trailers all the way up the hill? I have a great idea. It's so great to be free from Heather. I can totally contribute more and stuff. I have a lot of unwrapped potential, you know. Let's get Tyler to do it! He's, He's not, not here anymore! Oh, right. Bummer. Ah! All right, Owen! We actually won! And what we've got here is the set for a tearjerker, starring an elderly lady considering her long life. Oh, please, let me do it! It's gotta be me! I've got an old soul! <sighs> okay, okay fine. fine! Your makeup? Gorgeous! And now, I'm gonna make you really feel like an old lady. I feel like 80 years have already passed since they started to adjust the lighting. Oh, don't worry. I can't. My legs are totally asleep! Could I get that last line again? There are seven colors on this tape roll thingy, but I don't know which one to use. And what kind of a shape would a mark be? Like an M for mark? Or longer? Get back to first positions. Ugh, oh, it's been decades. Time for the fight. Wow, you don't look like you. Hey, Lassie, that's... To determine who will. <gasps> Another person you want voted on. Cast. And Gilded Chris's go to. Three nominees left. Izzy. And remember. Justin, look. I brought you bacon. I brought you bacon. Tofu's good for your heart. Pig's good for his hair. Holy moly. Ladies, please, I accept both your offerings. Join me for breakfast? <laughs> <laughs> Aren't you eating? When you can gorge your soul on essence to bow hunk, who needs food? We're going back to the beach! Woo-hoo-hoo-hoo! Woo! When did you guys move the beach to Antarctica? We're actually in the shooting studio. Fish should last all day, no? Did you ever notice Trent's a little weird? Did you say Tyler's here? <gasps> That's amazing! Okay, Linz, Tyler is not in the game anymore. Oh, right. I must have a dental block about the whole thing. Oh, my head! Ah! 
Man, Gwen's team is unstoppable! Try unstable. A ticking time bomb of betrayal. We have to stop them. Rama, action! Where against all advice to the contrary, the players have changed out of their bathing suits. A blue bracelet for Lindsay to match her still frozen lips. A green one for Owen. Drama Island! <laughs> oh, trick, dude. Get Castlin. Water! We need water! I'll hit the mountain stream! Or we could use the lake. <laughs> Quiet! We need a plan. That's right. Yeah, that's right. Nine turrets, nine doors. Justin, add one more moat. So we have... Great! We just need eight more. Dude, stop at three. Stop at five. <laughs> no, it's a prop sand castle. Oh, I have so many. Everybody, tear up these magazines. Remember, nine of everything. I dub thee Casa Gwen. <laughs> Casa dos paper mache. Yeah! Teams, choose your best boo gear for battle. I vote for Trent. We heard you got some fly moves. Trent, Trent, Trent. 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 Shake your lady lumps. Oof, dude, get up. The greatest beach party ever pitched. Yeah. And watch their rivals gorge on victory. How is it, Omar? Ah! There's a town meeting at high noon. <gasps> if you're driving us out of town, can we go to the mall? <laughs> I'm sorry, do you see something wrong with my hair? Outlaws, horses, and pretty dames. The hero defeats the outlaw, then rides off into the sunset on the horse. What about the pretty dames? None of your beeswax. <laughs> Just messing with ya. They usually hang out in the saloon during the bar brawl. Enough with the man candy. All eyes on me. Time to saddle up. You cowboys and cow babes are gonna have to mount the steed from up there. Not there, way up there. Gaffers one. Grips, you're up. Gaffers one, grips, zip. Harold, you're up. Gaffers three, grips, zilch. Grips are now on the board with hey. one. Uh, uh, ah, not the electrical wires. Oh. Assets. <laughs> Sorry. If I go to that big beauty parlor in the sky, don't let Heather have my hair, okay? Oh no, never. Uh, can I have your hair if you die? I don't think so. All right! Grips and gaffers are now tied at three each. Not there. Way up there. <laughs> Looks like the teams are still tied at three apiece. To the next challenge for the tiebreaker, cowpucks. Somebody better get me down. Captains will pick their strongest cowpoke to compete in what will likely be... You may shoot until someone is mildly injured or cries like a little baby, but a fight to the death is strictly prohibited. Time to pick your cowboys. The grips pick... Owen. What? You want to use Owen for target practice? He's a guaranteed hit. He is a little... large. Since Owen ruined the last competition... Your final challenge of the day will be calf roping. The cowboys rope the cattle, they win. Well, how do we know who's who? Sorry, but I bet you'll look really cute in the hack win. Would the cattle care for some hay? <sighs> Let the calf roping begin. Ugh. None of this would be happening if Chris had taken me uh, to the like he promised. Gotcha, cowboy. Lindsay, I'm on your team. Rope the cattle. You know, the people with udders. 
You're funny. Cowboys! A bit unexpected, but what the heck? The gaffers win! Yeah! 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 Booting one of the grips off in the most exciting gilded Chris ceremony ever! Now, go shower. You stink. Hurry up, Harold! Yeah, I have to go pee real bad! Fine, I'll do it then. Trent's been purposely throwing our challenges for Gwen. That's no so way! That's unfair! Gwen would never let Trent do that, ever! Right, Gwen? <gasps> oh, no! you and Trent! Wow, beauty and brains! I wasn't in on it, I swear! Fine, vote Trent off. Things have gotten way too complicated between us anyway. You'd be doing me a favor. Oh, great cherry cheesecake! She's bluffing! We'll see about that. Either way, you owe us, Gwen. The votes have been cast. Lindsay and Beth. Yay! Sorry, dude. Sorry. What? This has to be a mistake, but I can't leave without saying goodbye to Gwen. Oh, thank you. Up there. Sometimes I really wish I was one of the guys. Oh. Hope you all enjoyed your first taste of the gulag. Gulag? I didn't get any gulag. Oh. The vile, nasty food. And you're always looking over your shoulder. And no matter how hard you try, unless you get voted off, of course. Let's get this challenge started. Teams, take a prisoner from the competition. It's in the bag. Gwen owes us. But what if locking her up means she's out of the challenge, though? But we can't know, remember? We need this bag. Let's flip a coin. Heads, we win. Tails, victory is ours. Yay, I win! Grips. Now remember, this is an important choice, especially for perennial losers like yourselves. I, I can't. I'm innocent, I tell you, innocent. That's what they all say. Gross. Oh, no. What are we supposed to do with a shovel? Prisoners ready and culminate. With brains fricassee and the fish gut reduction. Topped off, of course, with the toenail clippings. Bon appétit. Horse lips are low fat and low carb, right? Wow, that's delicious. It's like I'm eating an angel's wings. <laughs> Thanks, Gwen. So much for our deal. Elimination challenge! Here we go! When you reach the wall, get digging. Ah! Oh, dang, Trick Knee's been acting up since that time I, uh, <laughs> pushed it to the max at the, uh, sports game. Aw, oh, poor thing! Justin, we could use some real manliness here. Look, girls, the gaffers have Gwen pushing. We don't want it to look too uneven. I think we need a girl, too, to help hide the whole cheating business. And beautiful, the way you took on that last challenge nearly blew my mind. This is it, teams. On your marks. Escape! Boxy legs, come on, pump! Ugh. Do you know how much you and Omar weigh? <gasps> Doing my best. Good girl. Trent would. Lindsay. 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 Justin, I can hear them way ahead of us. Chill. Gwen's throwing the game. Remember? Oh. If you were food, you'd be dessert. Chocolate-covered chocolate. Covered chocolate. <laughs> that is so nice, Owen. 
You're a banana split with like 26 bananas. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Everything is so much smaller than I remembered. I remember that bush. I remember that. Oh. Well, good night, everybody. Oh. Ew, what is that? A dead body? Or an undead body. Oh. <laughs> Calm yourselves, no one's dead yet. I'm here to prep you plucky ducks for our most awesome challenge yet. To win this challenge, you got that right. Hey Beth, do I squint when I read? You're magnificent. My hair! My pet! My brain is full. Ah! Reward challenge is called visiting hours. You mean like a dead body? A giant dead body. Stick two horse feathers up the whiz bang. Dead. Hold on, red sores, fever, lemony burps. Aren't those symptoms of one of the diseases in the book? Page 753, Mortatistical Crumbles disease. <gasps> and it's fatal! Owen somehow gets infected with a fatal disease? Getting claustrophobic! <laughs> Is that another symptom? <laughs> <laughs> I'm burning up! Want us to take your temperature? Both of you stop. Here, baby, have a sip of water. <laughs> oh, this is nuts! We gotta do something! Have you noticed we're the only ones who didn't study all night and we're the only ones who haven't been infected? My lips! Maybe they feel better if I press mine against them just once before I die. <laughs> it can't be a crock. No one's faking being sick. Oh, stale air. <laughs> oh my gosh, first year med school syndrome. I can see. Congratulations, screaming gaffers. You just won the challenge. Woo! <laughs> ha, sweet. I can't believe you managed to steal these from lunch. <laughs> Yummers. I call this the egg salad firework. You're all stealing them? Huh, Bestie? Imagine if there was no challenge today. Oh my gosh, we could totally just hang out and braid each other's hair. I would love that, Bestie. Some of us are trying to keep up our strength to actually win the competition. We don't think there is one today. There better be. I am here to win a million dollars, and the faster I eliminate you two pathetic, spineless followers, the better. You see those little bumps back there? Those are totally a spine. I'm not a follower. Like at cheerleading, I'm right in the middle of the pyramid. And when all my sisters and I decide on something, like where to go shopping or whatevs, I'm always the third vote. That's not. Oh. Well, I can change. I, if that's okay with you guys. Just promise we can still do the hair braiding. I think I'll do a French. The way over here and Lieutenant Slick can't even be bothered to show up. <laughs> Want to see how it's done? No. no. Our Cracker Jack effects. I can't believe you're so unscarable. You didn't even scream. I did on the inside. I just can't do it on the outside. Huh? When I was 10 and they were doing my tonsillectomy, can't scream worth a darn. Get out. Furious. Time for today's horror movie challenge. A scream off. Think of every great horror movie you've ever seen. <laughs> oh my gosh, you guys. Did you see that one with the possessed rug that learned to walk and smothered cats? Thing in common, fantastic screaming from actors and the killers who snuff them. Each team, pick a serial killer. The rest of you will be the screamers. The mask offers good protection. Okay, I am such the better scarer. My own dog is terrified of me, okay? Like, you're cute as I... Hey, you guys. Later, Lindsay. I want to be the killer, okay? And that's it. Beth is going to be our serial killer, and that is that. That's 
A non-screamer. We have to have her as the killer or we're going down. Can I just tell you that felt so delicious. It was almost better than being pretty. Well, almost. That was an accidental tinkle on screen last season. I'm not doing it again. And how am I supposed to be scared when I know Beth is coming in any minute and she's not scary at all? <laughs> Look! Is he breathing? I think he's saying something. Moving right along, it's time to pack up those overnight bags, loser grips. You and your sleeping bags are spending the night in the dining hall. Gaffer winners, back to the comfort of the trailers for a little R&R. &R. I'm about to tell you is perfectly safe on this plane. On this very spot! Now, her desperate no one has ever man spend the whole night here without leaving this tent. If you manage to do so, your team gets invincibility. Do you have a seven? How do you always know? It's like you're psychotic. <gasps> I know, right, Beth? Owen's totally got S and P. <gasps> really grooving on this suggesting business. I think it totally fits me. With Trent out of the game, I'm kind of leading my team. How do you like me now, Heather? The 10? Maybe. Care to make it interesting? <laughs> Wait! What do you smell? Exactly! Lick the walls, Owen! I said, lick the walls, Owen! <laughs> Um, remember everyone, this is just Chris trying to scare us, and Lindsay's team doesn't give up. Lindsay's team? <laughs> it's a poltergeist! Run, sir, guys! Wait! The ghost meters still aren't going off! <laughs> and that's how we... And now, Brady Cat Grips, it's time to announce and the guild that Chris is go to is he? Beth, Owen, Lindsay, and J What? I can't be going. Why would people be mad at me? Beth? Hello. It's called leadership. Those two. Stop! <gasps> yeah, can't we just I wish my boyfriend was here? He's such a great cook. Boyfriend? Oh, yeah. I have a boyfriend. I love my boyfriend. What? Didn't I mention my boyfriend before? We met between TV seasons. Wasn't that only like two days? Mm-hmm. We met at the orthodontist. He was getting his braces off at the same time as me. At first, I wasn't into him. But after the braces came off, look out. <laughs> Sure, I can tell you everything about him. He's six feet tall, has light brown hair, blue eyes, size 10 shoe, 32 pant with a 34 inch inseam. Wait a second, those stats are all written on the back of his picture. I know a comp card when I see one because I'm a professional male model. Yeah, well, maybe he's a model too. Ever thought of that? Sure, my boyfriend's a model. But he's still just a guy. Justin is a supermodel. Now that my braces are off, it's a whole new dating world. Where I had my kidney switched. <laughs> I wish I had this disgusting slop around last time I was trying to stick to my diet. I get it? It's a disaster movie theme. The better. My hair is already a total disaster. It's been three weeks since I had a trim. Split ends city. How much worse could it get? Each team has to today's reward. Oh, my boyfriend had a summer job cleaning up after earthquakes and landslides. <laughs> nope, still not buying it. But I did cave and buy the electronic salad spinner. <laughs> I can't wait to swing on the monkey bars. Uh, 
I'm still carrying a little holiday weight. My boyfriend was part of a rescue team? Everyone, get behind! We're almost there! For the killer grip! <laughs> the wounded Owen. What will become of him? Stay tuned to find out. How's Owen doing? Oh, Owen's fine. A little broken jaw. Oh no, it's that bad? Second disaster theme challenge. Who's excited? What good is this? It just has some dumb numbers on it. Oh, you'll find out. <laughs> Pick up two. Uh-huh, yeah. It would be great if he were here. You're right. If he existed in the first place! Now let's get out of this death trap! Yay for Izzy's hard head! Sound familiar? How are we ever going to open it? I'll do it. No, I'm just give it well, to me. I'm Lindsay, just, I'm Lindsay, Lindsay, Lindsay. Come on. What are the numbers? Read them out. Ah, I'm surrounded by loons. Where? Oh, I love ducks. <laughs> so, um, hmm. Anybody got any ideas? Phew. This will make escaping from underwater way easier. Well, that was a pretty exciting day, huh? Looks like another reward win for the gaffers. Breath. Today, we're all about war movies, so... Okay, people, remove your blindfolds. When it comes to making a war movie... If we live, I was thinking I should totally be our team's admiral. But admiral sounds cuter, so now I'd like to be called Admiral Lindsay Her Hotness, okay? Beth, Lindsay, I want to propose something, but don't get excited. It's not marriage. <laughs> uh, anywho, it's a long way from the airplane to the ground below. Wouldn't know. Math is for ugly people. Here's the deal. I need you two to jump before me in case I need a soft place to land, okay? Now, you girls know I don't blink these eyelashes at just anybody. Nothing? When were your last eye exam? Before they parachute. Luckily, we're gonna skip all that. <laughs> we're alive! Woohoo! It's good to be alive! Are those paint bombs? Stamping to two halves. Most creatures. Okay, minions. Admiral Lindsay, her hotness, is about to tell you how this is going to work. How is this going to work? What we need to do is lay the explosives in a wide interlocking pattern to ensure maximum paint coverage. What an excellent plan I came up with. Okay, snap to it, please. <laughs> Ooh. Admiral Lindsay decrees that you will get up and work on this challenge. Is it getting hot out here? Get to work, lazy bones. Say it ain't so. It's so, Justin. Time's up. Uh-oh, looks like you... Whoa! Now that's what I call thorough. Are we ready to blow it up? Drama! Action! Well, Duncan sort of, like, disappeared. And the rest of them are digging a hole for some weird reason. Team, Admiral Lindsay, her hotness, says it's time we attack! Uh, first, Admiral Lindsay, a suggestion, um, from Explosivo. Ooh! Mexican food! And jalapenos? I like it spicy. Boom boom! People! Admiral Lindsay, her hotness, decrees that although Mexican food is very tasty, we will not be making the Trojan taco. Attack! Remember? We are going to attack, so let's go down there and fight! Now listen, peeps. I know you're frightened of going into battle, but I'm here to say be strong, be fierce, be ferocious. Go and fight for that trunk like it's Boxing Day and you're fighting for the cutest pair of yoga pants. Show no mercy! <laughs> I'll be here when you're done! <laughs> 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 
There's, there's a, there's a scratch. Are you buying this? Admiral Lindsay, her hotness says to drop the crazy act, okay? Izzy, you're sort of... Let's face it, Chris. It was my lousy admiraling that cost us the challenge. If I go home tonight, I won't blame anyone. Except Beth. Why me? I have to blame someone. Uh, it's a figure of speech. What you should have said. I feel so lucky to still be here. And I am back on track. My jaws are unwired and back in business. I can finally eat like normal people. <laughs> or like ten normal people. Sorry, you guys, but there's a great smell coming from Chef's steam table and seconds are a-wasting. What an entrance! Consider it a hint as to this week's movie genre. <gasps> Let's kick it, gangsters. Do you think it's like cracking an egg? My boyfriend has a bad habit of cracking his knuckles. Some people say it's gross. I think it's kind of adorable, because it's him. It's an expression. Crack open? As in, we need to find the combo? Oh! My junior high locker combination. It didn't change the whole three years I was in grade eight, so it must be standard. Oh, well, that's just bad school spirit. You know? Oh, get me out of here. I'm starving. We'll unleash the power of Owen. Exactly, but we don't have any food, delicious or otherwise. Don't worry. Back when I was single, I bought a bottle of... Uh, hey! Why is he looking at us like that? Here's our bank robbing kit. Let's go rob a bank before Owen tries to eat us. Wow. There's something I never thought I'd say. We are such good... <laughs> oh. We've got to get some food into him, stat. All I have is these breath mints. Well, these lip glosses are pineapple and cherry flavor. Oh, eating fruit is so healthy. If the smell of chicken cologne worked for him, then maybe... I'm sensing a hint of barnyard fowl with an overtone of egg. Let's go! What happened to the bank robbing tools? <clears throat> I didn't need them. We must have lost them on the way. Since they were the only team that managed to get to my wicket. So this means the Killer Grips win second prize. What second prize? Courtney! For the rest of the game. So, Grips, Gaffers, your getaway cars are waiting. Go! Maybe. Or those groovy Mini Coopers. I'm. Oh, this junk. <laughs> These are your getaway cars, just waiting to be assembled. Oh. <laughs> what is he talking about? I don't know! We had to rewire his jaw with my spare hair elastics. But that's the good news. These are kind of toast. Oh. Master, you the teams aren't called the gappers and the slackers! Now move! Mush, mush! Mush? We're not sled dogs! Of course you aren't, because if you were, this one would have eaten you! <laughs> I knew I could win this, even with a team of complete duds! Faster! Faster! Ah! I will not be second place! It's at tonight's Gilded Chris ceremony. One member of your team will not be receiving a coveted gilded crit. None of you are. Beth! Lindsay! Justin! I guess we couldn't help ourselves. No matter what, my finger would only press the corny button. This is you can't bull! Do that? Speed, 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 speed. speed! In a soda poppy kind of way. We love you, Owen! <laughs> I love this game! What about poor Owen? <gasps> Tyson! Tyler! Girls all lawyered up. I ought to try it. You planned on doing it at the spa without wash and go hair. Oh, I've got my hair in a knot. Beth, could you... Here, 
Here, let me. Ow! Heather, I think you pulled my eyes into the back of my head. And it's not like we needed another know-it-all on the show. Oh, really? Ow! I was talking about me. Now that Bossy makes Smarty Pants is back, no one's ever going to listen to me ever again. Ow! Got the knot! Hey, girls. Uh, what was that? Talk about your fashion faux pas. Girl, I'm serious. Excuse me? Paleo lipstick? Is that a new brand? It's the Stone Age. We're going to be cave girls. And might I say, you all look pre-hysterical. I don't get it. How do you make fire with a rock? Give me those. Cordy thinks she knows everything, but she doesn't know that when I was 12, my flat iron once accidentally set fire to my grandma's house. Twice! I'll have this going in no time. I was a CIT, you know. Oh, sh Yay! Go, Courtney! Scaffers win the first challenge! Oh, you obviously gave me fake flints! Nobody could start a fire with these ridiculous props. Time for our second caveman movie challenge. But first, Chef will pass out your rewards from this morning. Lindsay made fire first. The Grips are the winners! All right! How do we know when to start? Whoa. Hey, it feels like a cool mud bath. I wonder if it's good for the skin. Here. Be sure to let me know. Look on the bright side. Will Courtney survive the ire of her teammates? And what? Who's ready to put up a good offense? Spaghetti here. Get your popping hot spaghetti here. That was breakfast. Pasta for brekkie? It's called carbo loading, contestants. Today, you're all going to give 200% in our destined to come back from certain failure. We've got a training run. Man up! It's time for more action! It's a set. We gotta push spiced up chef like he's a football dummy? <laughs> These are so not normal tires! My feet keep getting stuck! Aw, oh, really? I'm sorry. Oh, oh, oh. Snap to it, losers! But we had some mud and barbed wire left over from the war movie, and it just seemed fun to me. Aww. Who won, anyway? Let's see. Huh? With competitors according to these results. Seated? There's a gardening challenge? Okay, so he might like sports seating. I knew that. But if there was a gardening challenge, I would seriously kick butt. I mean, nobody can even touch my tomatoes. Loser! Shauna, it's nice to oh, oh, oh. four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. And the screen cappers. Huh? Well, he knocked him out. He scored a bunch of extra points for doing such great slow motion, and I had to dock you for biting. Very unsportsmanlike, Ms. Tyson. This was fixed. Ref's going down. Easy there, Tiger. Ah. How come the net is so stupidly high? This is a badminton court, Justin. Thanks for asking, darn badminton players I've had the pleasure of coaching. Beth and Heather. Piece of cake. Feathers, you can do it, Beth. Is that okay, Chicken Little? Serve to Heather. We have a... Oh, all right. Now, you might have game, girl. Yay! It's on her PDA. I told you to stay away from my PDA. It's on the Total Drama website, Lashana. Ooh, 
the underdog's about to take a bite out of a rival. Action! You said mean things about me? Let me see, let me see. No! Only because I think you all have the right to know what she said. Has half a brain cell, Max. And it's usually gone out shopping. Oh, 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 probably with Justin's giant ego. <laughs> Beth actually wears a side ponytail. A side pony. So, you weren't just joking? I thought maybe you were joking. Isn't that a riot? <laughs> Lashana just told it like it is. I don't see what the big deal is. I do it all the time. She called you mean and nasty. I can live with that. You don't push it. It's not like we're new BFFs. Silence! We'll attempt to break the tie, competing in Greco. <laughs> <gasps> yeah! I am the world champion bow wrestler! Hey, the grips are ahead, two to one. Dunk competition with points going to... All right, I call this. Hey, keep watching. <laughs> See? Real creative. And the gaffers, prepare! Pom poms? Where there are pom poms, there are pom pom girls. Each team's gotta dig deep and create a cheer. They're working on whipping. Lindsay and Justin might be dumb, but I'd be so proud if they call me their chump. Woo! Chris, 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 The performances, the artistry, the incredible kissing up. Yeah! All right! Get my bed ready, Le Shaniqua. Your trash-talking cousin's coming home. Ugh, I keep eating like this, and my booty's gonna get pity. Now that's not kosher. What's a girl gotta do? I've said I'm sorry. Ugh, Dor, it's me, Lindsay, from this morning. You remember? Oh, yeah! Intruder alert! Entry denied! It's Russian, and I should know, because I am an actor to get through today's reward challenges. <laughs> Does anybody know anything about bombs? Oh, I do, I do. I once was in a musical about the environment called the three R's. I was Recycle, and my best friend Marcy played Reduce. She paints her nails grapefruit just like me. Anyway, only three people showed up, and the director said it bombed, so yeah. I know a thing or two about bombs. Mr. Ninja not so much over here doesn't get anywhere near the bomb. If you deactivate bombs the way you foil booby traps, we are so dead. Oh, and one last thing. From now on, it's every dude and dudette for themselves. If we're not teammates, does that mean we can't share lip gloss? I'll miss your fruity lip goop. No! And all the rules in a place where we belong. I'm six feet on my way. Got a new job. Gonna start at the mall today. I say we go this way. Ow! Not again. The GPS indicates an... Awesome! This is like something out of that spy movie, The Ultimate Ultimatum. Don't I look awesome in blue? Now, for the first part of the spy movie challenge. See that case in the middle of the room? You finish. I look a whole lot better whole. Wanna, Wanna go, go together, together, BFF? <laughs> <laughs> this is all your fault. No, this is all your fault. What kind of BFF are you anyway? Number one requirement for a BFF, don't allow other BFF to get stuck between dangerous life-threatening lasers. Yeah? And you know what the number two requirement is? The number one requirement. Wow. Wow, it's weird. Ugh. Ape, a building that's about to blow? The room blows in ten. Nine. Ape, a building that's about to blow? The room blows in ten. Nine. I'll miss your smile. No, I'll miss your smile. We'll all miss your smile, hot stuff. Three. Suckers! Ha ha ha. 
<laughs> you should have seen the looks on your faces. Do you think forever includes eternity? Why? Because if it does, then even if we get blown up and die, we'll still be BFFs. Aww. Chris is serious this time. Personally, I'm not gonna stay here and find out that building over there. What are we waiting for? Let's get out of here! Well, how about a bottle of my face brightener? Papaya is really good at perking up an ashy complexion. What? I played a French maid in the school play. Oh. Oh. Yeah. What? Hey. That boy is just downright mean. As if we have the budget to blow up an entire building. Do bombs come with instructions? Am I wearing the right kind of bomb deactivating clothing? And if not, where can I get the proper outfit? Preferably in cotton candy because that color is so right with my hair. Look at all those different colored wires. Ooh, that one matches my toenails. That one matches my eyes. And oh, that one matches my hair. It's the blue one. How do you know? Of all the colors, it's the most fashion forward. Hey, everybody. Lindsay's cutting the blue wire. Can Lindsay borrow the wire cutters? What more do you want? Besides, if the bomb goes off, we'll all be stinked, including you. Ugh. My BFF did it! I'm sorry I ever doubted you. Did it! I'm so smartest. This can't be! Tomato soup is so good for your skin. The vitamin C in the tomatoes boosts collagen, improves skin texture, firmness, and tone. Ah, with this hideous facial deformity, I'll need all the help I can get, sister. Glad you like it, because it's also dinner. <laughs> Ooh! Ahem. Excuse me. You'll get the juice when you nix the 50-50 split. Is everybody having fun yet? In the mall? What? It's the place where magical dreams happen. Isn't it great, Courtney? We get to cut the cheese together. Oh, I'd say another 12 hours should do. <gasps> Isn't this fantastic? You and me together. Oh, I hope there's a cracker factory next door. I love cheese with crackers. Let's play a game. You name all the cheeses you can, and I'll do the same. Ah! Gorgonzola, Swiss, cheddar. Seriously strong cheddar. Can you guess what it tastes like? Seriously strong. Oh, this was fun. Cream cheese, cheese sticks, cheese in a can. We got the fabulous reward. A trip to the local stinky cheese factory. Oh, I hope there's a cracker factory next door. I love cheese with crackers. Ugh, you stink. You stink like feet! You kidding me? It smells so bad. It's like we somehow brought it home with us. Gouda, anyone? Mm-mm. Girl, this Gouda is amazing. Good thing I had crackers. Let go of me! <gasps> or had breakfast. I'm going back to bed. Evil never sleeps, which means you will all be wearing teensy tiny tights. I'm wearing tights. Get dressed and meet me back on set in superhero speed. Maybe you could use that stench as your superpower, Gorgonzola girl. I wouldn't talk, aged cheddar chick. For your first challenge, each of you will create your own superhero identity. That one's mine. I've got it. Forget superpowers. Courtney's on a superpower trip. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Here. Or did I leave it over there? Actually, I think my lawyers make the rules. Yay! You may have won the first round, but we'll see who comes out on top. <gasps> Courtney just stepped on my invisible jet! Sure! Who wants to ride in my invisible jet? I do! Man, I love this gig. For your second challenge, You'll have to leap over a building in a single... <laughs> the person to finish the course round. Yay! <laughs> oh, this mattress is so nasty. Ow! Whoops.
whoopsie. Sorry, lady. Looks like you didn't make it. What's with those mattresses? Oh, hello. Even incorporating his, uh, <clears throat> uh, I wish we could vote off Courtney. Girls got game, that's for sure. I say we vote off Duncan. But there's only three of us. We can't do it. <sighs> I really hope that girl's not going to talk to the plants. Beth! And Harold. Oh yeah! And finally, Duncan. <gasps> Lashana. I'll miss you. Me too. Bye, Lashana. Ten more seconds. <laughs> Look, Beth and I are BFF. Burrito friends forever. Did you belt your burrito? It's a custom friendship bracelet I made to join our two burritos for always and ever. Weird, disturbing, but big. Ish. It qualifies. Geekwad, you managed to make yours any bigger? I give you. Aww, that, that is, is so sweet. sweet. These beans, nothing. Not a tingle. Not even an ingle. Harold, your pathetic portrayal of puppy love makes me want to hurl. This isn't right. I demand a second neutral opinion. You all have reality show itis into crazy challenges, thus losing focus on the real competition. Hear ye and rise for Sir Chris. That's a glass slipper, which means today's challenge is a fairy tale movie. My favorite. You can't boot Beth. Oh wait, he can, cause it's a glass boot. Wing the fair princess. I want to be the princess. Courtney and Lindsay. Are you sure that's the right one? It's tiny, like a kid's boot. What can I say? Uh, can I do this privately? Get on with it, Lindsay. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Wow, he's <laughs> I hear glass shoes. Really? And make him buckle up. <sighs> I am so going to take this. I don't know. Yes! Eat my pixie dust, commoners! Went on a quest to rescue a princess from her ivory tower. But it wasn't gonna be easy. First, the knights had to get past his Bad Breaks Bridge. <coughs> and one of her seven dwarves. Oh yeah, for this challenge, each knight is blind. Who are you kidding? <laughs> Next, the eighth dwarf. This is for you, Lasha! Boats go under bridges, not over them. My feet are not that bad! All knocked off two losers. But. Brittany is so lucky. She gets to wear that sparkly head thingy. Wasn't that song brilliant? Look, it's the one horseman of the apocalypse. <gasps> Did you see that? She winked her horse eyes at me. I think you do have a concussion. The ivory tower in which the troll had... I can't wait to see a real dragon! So scary! We don't have a real dragon. We're reusing the alien monster guy. Well, Beth, this is a modern tale. Gals have to fight for themselves. Courtney wins immunity! Again! I think she felt that. Cool! Get her elbow! Ah! Lindsay! Who will live happily ever after? Oh! This is an outrage! Justin should be going home! Lindsay? Princess Beth is so cute! And the rest of them live happily ever after. Not! Come on! Is that all Chef knows how to make now? Mexican-themed breakfast foods? Ew! Was that an eggshell? All he's got left is computer hardware. What if there's something on it? Something all challengey. Oh, them. <laughs> You're probably wondering what the challenge is. It will remain a mystery until you find me. I'm with Duncan. Let Chris wait for us. Yeah, but maybe if we find Chris, he'll have some kind of surprise. Who doesn't love surprises? I think he was giving us hints. 
He said he was on cloud nine. That's like heaven, which means he's not alive anymore. What do you do with dead people? You bury them. So maybe he's buried underground. Maybe we should dig and see if we find him. Uh, we could. The only problem is that makes zero sense. No one ever listens to me anymore since Courtney got here. What's so weird about Chris being buried alive? Now you get it? No, still nothing. I've got a brain. Hey, I was the one who said Chris was giving clues. You did, sweetie. So, what's the plan, Heistmeister? got a challenge for each of you. Tonight, you're to meet me at the train station set from any one of the other competitors, which means it's in your interest. I still think I should get credit for coming up with the idea to look for clues. Ah, if we listen to you, we'd still be digging under the cafeteria with teaspoons. Not nice. Look, guys, it doesn't matter in the big picture who did what, as long as we all have fun. Lindsay. I really respect you. I was only acting like that out of jealousy. I would sincerely like us to be friends. Let me make it up to you. Can I treat you to a spa session? Ooh, spas are my very favorite! <laughs> that tickles. <laughs> I never had a manicure done on the bottom of my fingers. Oh, it's all the rage in France. Ooh, I love being trendy. Ah! Welcome aboard the 7.30 to Fun Bill. Let the party begin. This is great that we all get to share this, huh, Courtney? Dead dead? No, that's not possible. I never got a decent prize. Harold, give him CPR. You picked the right guy. Just do it, Harold. He's not breathing. Build him. Oh, the humanity. <laughs> this reminds me of the time we were on the bus on the way to cheering camp. The head cheerleader, Carmelito Santos, passed right out. I always hated Carmelita because Carmelita thought she was so great. But we had to do something. She was drooling. So me and Bitsy Stephanopoulos ran to the front of the bus. Bitsy's real name is Elizabeth, but everybody calls her Bitsy. So Mrs. Whitlock came running back from the rest stop with some full sugar fruit punch, not the aspartame saccharin stuff. That doesn't work for these types of situations. And she gave it to Carmelita and... We have to get some fruit punch for Karma, our Chris! We're trapped! We're all gonna die! Well, I'm gonna draw Chris's shadow outline thing, just like they do in the movies. <laughs> Why do they do that anyway? Do we color it in later or something? Arr! I don't like this! Something just brushed up against my leg! <laughs> yeah. It's a real train, and I won't be going back out there again. If this is real, and if we're real... Chris's body's gone! The alien's got him! Duncan, go check to see if he's in one of the other cars. I'm going to... I don't want to get murdered either. <sighs> Would a pinhead be dusting the place for Prince? Um, yes? Aha! Uh -huh. <gasps> These nitwits think you did it. And she's your love interest. Next, you'll be saying it was Professor Plum in the conservatory with the bacon. Book em. We should be looking for other clues just in case. We still have to figure out how Chris died. Can you die if somebody poisons your hair gel? Because he uses a lot of that. Oh, blah, 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 blah. This is the same person who thought Chris was buried alive? Doesn't it make more sense to help me try to get us off this train? Yes. And congratulations on being too sensible to listen to Lindsay. Yeah? Well, what do you know? I could be just as right about this as anybody. We don't need any help, right, Beth? We'll solve this case on our own. Ooh, shiny. Um, I don't know. I'll just go see what Courtney and Harold are up to.
to. No commitment, <laughs> just checking. Aha! Here, we have a suspicious napkin covered on opposite ends with some kind of orange powder, as though it was held like a murder weapon. And here we have Courtney eating a bag of orange cheesies, which she refused to share. Therefore, Courtney was the only one to have orange cheesy fingers. Really? The prints don't lie. Cuff her. Because the person who solved the crime, and that person is Detective Lindsay. I prefer Detective Lindsay for hotness. No! This isn't fair! I won two portions already. I was the one who knew you weren't dead. Is a night at the movies with a friend of her choice. Sorry that we all accused you. Happens all the time. No props. Want to go to the movies with me? So, uh... Yeah? Oh, uh, nothing. Uh, th this should be good, huh? Yeah. I really should have brought Beth. At least we'd have something to say to each other. But it was a good strategistical, logical move. Because it messed with Courtney's head. Going to the movies with Duncan? It reminded me of ordering the mega combo at the movies. At first, you think it's gonna be fun. Courtney's losing her mind. Duncan's pretty okay most of the time. The butter's glistening off the popcorn. Good, right? But by the time the previews are over, you've eaten half the bucket, finished the drink, and you're feeling a little bit sick. Is Lindsay going to actually outsmart her? challenge is over, so you can stop massacring that song! I was not mascaring anything except my eyelashes, Courtney. What's the other thing you said I did? Oh, stop playing dumb, Lindsay. Ooh, ooh, like butter and eyes were free! You and me makes me... Uh, today's movie genre is drumroll, please! The rock and roll biopic. Is a biopic kind of like a toothpick? Because I could use one right now. Uh, popcorn? Suck right air. Any good rock and roll biopic starts with a kid from humble beginnings drawn into the seemingly glam world of rock music. I'm not allowed to talk about with 16 year olds. A few things that any certifiable rock god needs to know that I can talk about. Any questions? Um, why is Owen eating my popcorn? Owen! Owen, get lost until I give you your cue. <clears throat> I have an announcement to make. <gasps> is it... What's the name of that boy I liked again? Tyler? Uh, I can't take it anymore. Oh, hi, everyone. I just can't help myself. Yay, Owen! Hi, Owen! All right, people. Time for your first big gig. Meet me at the big stadium in 10 minutes. You can't miss it. Say the stadium is again? You also said to meet you at the big stadium, and this is the Dumpy Gilda Chris Awards Theater, where you might get dumped. But I don't know how to play the guitar. Is it anything like the recorder? I can play the recorder. Yeah, it's a lot like the recorder. Only completely different. Since I'm guessing most of you can't read, let alone read music, you'll be playing a guitar-shaped peripheral. The notes will be... Every time you play a wrong note, electrocute you? Of course not. The guitar will electrocute oh. you. But don't worry, you'll live. Though you may never be able to play the piano again. I can't play the piano anyway. Or use the phone. Those about to rock! Shoot! Do you have one in red? This one doesn't really go with my outfit. Whoa, that girl can rock! Rock and roll biopic edition of Total Drama Action. Now, in order to become a true rock immortal, you must know how to work the paparazzi. 
You'll start at the limousine, walk up to a win. The rest will be celebrity roadkill. Okay, Courtney, you're up. Chin. Courtney's on the move. After red carpet. the next part of the challenge where you'll compete for invincibility. Trashing the hotel room. You've got 30 seconds on the clock with Lindsay getting an additional 10 for having won the first part of the challenge. And action! <laughs> Ten seconds. There's nothing left to destroy, which means Courtney wins in bed. Now you've got to decide who gets booted from the band. Psst, guys, over here. Ladies, what's up? Beth and I have been thinking about who to vote off. Since we can't lose Courtney, we're thinking Duncan. Hello. Did you see how grumpy he was today? Plus, Courtney would never admit it, but she'd go ballistic if he got kicked off. But it's her fault I got kicked off the show. Hey. I don't think so either, Owen. Now for total drama. Be Courtney. The Gilded Chris Award goes to Courtney and Beth and Owen. Only one left. Duncan, Lindsay's going bye-bye. But, Lindsay, Harold and I voted for Duncan. A contestant accidentally voted themselves off. What? Take a look. Unlike me, the camera never lies. <laughs> Lindsay, that means goodbye. chance at the million. Don't worry. Friends are worth way more than money. That's the smartest thing anyone said all season. Really? Totally. Bye. Well, don't worry. Saying bye isn't so bad. Because really, it's just a hi with a B. And on that note... Getting kicked off the show may be the best thing that's ever happened to me. Now I can devote my time to something meaningful, like helping the poor. Look better. I see them on the street and think, oh, with some blush, some eyeshadow, okay, and a lot of foundation, I could work miracles. And I'd have a line of skincare products named Lindsay. And I'd make sure none of them were tested on animals. Well, at least not the cute ones. And the winner is... Drama action! Seat! You think we could at least get another seat? This is the last time we're gonna see each other, guys. <laughs> I've got a plan. I've devised a completely unbiased way, a quiz show that will determine who gets the million. Lame! a question of Duncan and Bat. Miss Nice Girl, huh? Ah, uh, yes. Welcome back. Vegetables. <laughs> 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 
here we go again. Just let the little girl believe. I recently decided to start eating healthy. Oh, no, no, it's true. After I cleaned out the whole cheese cellar over one ill-fated weekend, a light bulb went off in my belly. <laughs> now that the show has disfigured my face, I want to know if I can still be a leading man. Or will I only be allowed to do character actor roles playing criminals, villains, and, and the institutionally insane? Movie star type guy. Lindsay? I'm choosing Beth because I like her and tropical cruises are nice too. Thank you. Um, do I like Beth? And, uh, do I think cruises are nice? Oh my gosh, you both know me so well. How am I gonna decide? Harold? Go! Hmm, a heracorn with wings. Very good, Beth. What's this? Interesting. Not exactly an animal, but interesting. You have surprised and intrigued me, sir. And finally. Beth, Duncan. And now, the votes. Wow. Now I wish I didn't vote for her. Our season two winner, Beth!